Hey, what's going on? It's Kyle Henderson of Bama Football on YouTube. First of all, thank you very much to our 90,000 subscribers right here on this YouTube channel. Hit the thumbs up, like, and subscribe to all our videos. We appreciate you guys. Coach Saban just held his weekly SEC teleconference where he did provide injury updates on Malachi Moore, Jalen Key, and Jihad Campbell. He said that Malachi Moore and Jalen Key are practicing this week, but in terms of being 100%, he's not sure how close they are to 100% leading up to Saturday's game against the Texas Longhorns. Now, he did provide an update on Jihad Campbell. He said that Campbell, who had his knee scoped during fall camp, has been practicing and is available for this weekend's game at the inside linebacker position. Now I'm going to play Coach Saban's weekly teleconference where he talks about Quinn Ewers and also Xavier Worthy, who he refers to as one of the best wide receivers in the entire country. Definitely hit the thumbs up, like, and subscribe, and thank you for watching right here on Bama Football on YouTube. The Crimson Tide will host Texas on Saturday at 6 Central on ESPN. To ask a question for Coach Saban, press 1-0 on your telephone's keypad now. And Coach, while we wait on any questions, if you could take a minute to comment on your team as you enter the Texas game on Saturday. All right. Well, this is a great opportunity for our team to sort of see where you're at as a football team. Everybody wonders that all the time. You're going to play a really good Texas team. you got ten starters back on offense and six on defense. Sark's a really good coach. Very well-prepared team. And, you know, we kind of saw that last year when we played them, so... It'll be uh, interesting to see where we are as a team, and uh, but you really love competing in games like this, and it's a great opportunity for our players. For questions, press one zero, and we'll begin with Mac Engel of the Fort Worth Star Telegram. Uh, good morning, Coach. Thanks for doing this. Uh, last season, when you all played Texas, Quinn Ewers was doing really, really well until he got hurt. Coach, do you prepare that you you think you're basically going to see the same guy, or in what you have watched, do you think he's maybe a little bit more sophisticated and maybe even better than when you saw him this time a year ago? Well, he's a really good player. Um, he does a great job with their offense. He reads coverage as well. He's accurate with the ball. They've got really good skill guys outside, and they're able to take advantage of that. So it's going to be a real challenge for us to affect him, number one, but also do a good job of covering our guys. Thank you very much. Next will be Mike Rodak of 24-7 Sports. Popularity of sports betting, there's been some movement in college football to be more proactive uh, with injury reports, whether it's the Big Ten requiring them or some other teams doing uh, NFL-style reports during the week. Just how do you weigh – sort of providing that information to the public and to betters versus giving too much information to your opponent? Yeah, well, you know, I think I respect the fact that the media has a job to do and wants to get as much information as they can. And, you know, we try to do that on a timely basis. But, you know, we also don't want to create disadvantage for ourselves when, you know, situations with players are relatively unknown or day-to-day -day and, don't know how they're going to be by game time. So, you know, it's, it's you know, kind of tough situation to be in. Um, but, you know, we, we respect the fact that you all have a job to do and need to get information as timely as possible. Next we'll go to Nick Alvarez of AL.com. Yeah, kind of on that note, I was wondering if you had an update on Jalen Key uh, or Malachi Moore. Well, they're able to practice, just how much they're able to practice and how close to 100% they can get by game time will be the big, you know, question that we'll have to answer. And that probably is not something we can comment on until we get to that point. For questions, press one zero, and we'll continue with Steve Moulton of WZZN. Coach, hope you're doing well today, sir. I, I wanted to ask about mentorship. Uh, Coach Sarkeesian was asked about the mentorship that you provided as well as what he got from Coach Carroll. How important is mentoring coaches uh, as a head coach? Well, you know, I think I get mentored by, you know, people on our staff, too, who comes here that have been very successful, and uh, whether it's offense, defense, special teams, whatever it is, so we're all trying to learn, but and I'm obviously, you know, trying to teach the people on our staff to 
uh, do things in a certain way. Sometimes they might learn something from that. Sometimes they might learn that it's something they wouldn't want to do. But, um, you know, I think you're always trying to make your staff better for their sake and for, for yours. And, you know, I think that's something that's pretty common in our profession. I did want to ask about Xavier Worthy and uh, what kind of skill set he brings and how big of an issue is uh, when Xavier's on the field, Coach. No, oh, He's a really good player, very fast, got really good hands, runs good routes, uh, can drop his weight and get in and out of breaks. And, you know, they put him in some spots that they can take advantage of that and get him the ball. And he's an outstanding player, probably one of the best receivers in the country. Thank you, Coach. Next will be Mike Griffith of AJC Dog Nation. Hey, Coach, I just want to ask you about adjusting to uh, to new staff members. Obviously, you've had a lot of staying power, regardless of, of who the coordinators have been. Um, do, do we in the media maybe make too much of that, or is there an adjustment period? I know you've worked with Coach Steele several years before, but maybe with Coach Reese, do you get a feel for him, or by now are you guys kind of running full steam together? Well, I think – you know, it goes both ways. I think they got to get a feel for you in terms of what you want to do and what your philosophy is, and they got to make some adaptation to that. And you also got to get a feel for them and what they like to do and how much of that you're willing to sort of, you know, accept and take into account and know that that can improve, you know, your offense, defense, whatever it might be. So I think it kind of goes both ways in terms of adjusting to each other. Thank you. Next is Stephen Smith of Touchdown Alabama. Coach, I know he uh, he didn't play this past game, but how has Jahan Campbell progressed in practice this week? Yeah, he's been able to practice, and he's doing fairly well. So, you know, we're encouraged by the progress that he's made, and he should be okay to play in the game, and providing there's not a setback between now and then. Next, we'll go to A.P. Stedham of A.P. and Kelly. Uh, good morning, Coach. Good morning. Uh, Coach, I know that all games are important to Alabama fans and yourself, but what do you try to tell the young players when they perceive this to be a big game, but it's really the game of football they've been playing their entire life? Well, I, I think that what players need to do when they play in games like this is be able to lock in and stay focused on the things they need to do to play well and not be affected by – you know, a lot of the hype surrounding the game, uh, which is great. I'm, I'm not complaining about the hype. I'm just saying for a player, the challenge is, is you know, what do I have to do to go play well has got to be the most important thing and not get concerned about, you know, the outside noise. Thank you. Coach, that's going to wrap you up today. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it.